Microwave Dinner is a fantastic game. Not only is it extremely fun and satisfying to play, but it's also just incredibly relaxing. Everything's just so bright and cheery and colorful. Look, there's even a cute little island over there. Let's go look at it. Oh no, this game has more. That's right friends, you heard that right. This game about a sentient microwave has itself some lore. But what exactly is it? What is the story being told here? Well, be sure to like, subscribe, and without further ado, let's jump into that. So right away, seeing this dead microwave bot next to a music box immediately let me know that something deeper was going on in this game's world. But what could it be? Well, for one, there being a dead bot here already tells us that groups of microwave bots and possibly other robots have been to this planet before in an attempt to do whatever it is we're sent here to do. So that's all well and good, but is there any proof of this? Well, thankfully, there is. There's multiple different robots here that all serve different purposes on the island. We see that some of them sell parts while others just live on boats and others are there to upgrade the microwave bots that are there. I assume that these bots, just like the microwave bots, were also sent to the planet to explore and, and help in the collection of food. But that's not the only thing. We know that the wildlife on the planet in World 1 is pretty... how should I put this? Underdeveloped. No offense to them, but they don't seem particularly intelligent and don't seem to be capable of building the type of structures and infrastructure that we see on the island. So it would make sense that these robots possibly came and helped them build all of these things, such as the industrialized volcano and their sewer systems, which share the same architecture and have the same kind of rustic mechanical feel to them that they you wouldn't expect them to really have. Which goes to show that possibly in the past, robots came to the planet in order to build things for them, and in return, the microwave bots were allowed to go to the planet and collect food. We also know that collecting food is what the microwaves do, considering that whenever we collect the chicken thing, the microwave opens up its door and the food goes inside. We also know that the actual microwave dinners are not to power the ship and are actually just stored there, which actually would make sense considering what a fridge is for, it's for storing food, which would explain why we are collecting them and such. The way I see it, the humans sent the first team of robots to cozy up to the locals of the planet, gaining their trust and such, and the second group to actually collect food. Now, while it seems like a healthy working relationship in World 1, I could easily see this turning sour in future worlds as the game updates. Perhaps there'll be enemies that oppose the robots seemingly invading their planet and taking all their food. Or maybe we'll see some robots that are fed up with doing what they are programmed to do and rebelling against us. Whatever it is, the possibilities are pretty much endless for a game that is as lighthearted and silly as this to have a plot that could be, well, sim pretty simple on the surface but actually dive into deeper themes as we go. Which is kind of the case of Robot 64, which this game is clearly trying to emulate the feeling of, but in a more modern setting. And I think if it plays its cards right, then this game could truly be incredible. But anyways, that's all I've got for the story of Microwave Dinner. Goofy lore for a goofy game, and just as short as the demo. But whatever, if you enjoyed, once again, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.